one women continues. We saw Murkowski yesterday on uh, television from uh, from Alaska saying that she's very disappointed in her own Republican Party for this continued war on women. There is no war on women, um, at least from the Republican Party. The war on women is coming from the left, and it sickens me. And Ann Romney, of course, never worked a day in her life. The union piñata that is happening now with uh, Nikki Haley, the governor, um, it's, it's incredible. You see these union, uh, union thugs with a baseball bat. Hit her again. Hit her again in the face. Can you imagine anybody doing that on the right? What would be said? The war on women. And now one of the most despicable things I have seen. Uh, and I will tell you, in full disclosure, I haven't seen it myself, nor do I care to. But one of our um, uh, contributors, one of our uh, friends to the program, one of our employees with GBTV, is Essie Cup. And uh, Essie has been um, so incredibly wrong. I, you would think that this would be illegal, but apparently it's not. Essie Cup is with us uh, now, and I'm going to let her tell the story of, of what it is. Hi, Essie. Hey, boss. How are you? I'm good. I'm, I'm sorry that we're talking under these circumstances. This is embarrassing, and I'm, I just want to apologize for, for you. Uh, and you shouldn't be apologizing to me. I mean, this is, this is I think this is outrageous. Um, it and, is. And Pat and I were talking about it this morning when we found out about it, and, and honestly, I think this is... Um, I think this is uh, uh, something that, no matter what the disclaimer says, yeah. this will haunt you now for the rest of your life, and it is a complete falsehood, and it is, um, it, uh, I, I can't imagine there's not an attorney out there that can, that wouldn't make you one of the richest women alive. Well, yeah, I mean, it's a doctored photo, and so, so it's not like I'm embarrassed because I actually performed this act and they caught it on film. It's just embarrassing because, as you say, it will be out there forever. And, you know, the fact that I work really hard and am an Ivy League educated young woman with a pretty good job doesn't matter when you look at a photo like this. And as you say, there, there's a disclaimer there. They do say this photo is not real. Um, it's, it's a parody, and I guess that, that makes it okay, but you have to wonder if, if they had done this to someone like Nancy Pelosi or Michelle Obama, would that, would that stand? Would no one make us think about it? I, I have to think they would. Okay, Hustler Magazine took a photo of um, Essie Cup and wondered what it would look like if she were performing oral sex. And... Um, so they took a photo of her and doctored it, and I haven't seen it, like I said, but uh, Stu says it, it, uh, it's real enough, uh, and um, it, it, you, know, they, you can print whatever you want and say, oh, this is just a parody, but that's not what's going to make the round. Right. The disclaimer is not going to go around with this. And if I may say to the President of the United States, um, if I had a daughter, she could look like Etsy Cup. Yeah. And does anybody care? Does anybody care? Your point here about Michelle Obama, the world would be set on fire, sure would, right. if they did this to Michelle Obama. And I know? would be right with them. And right. look at look what happened when when a woman was called a slut. I mean, this to right. me is far worse oh my God. than that. This is it is way beyond that. I've actually, you know, I've covered a lot of this kind of misogyny, whether it was Sarah Palin or, or uh, you know, Ann Coulter and, and Michelle Morgan. I've, I've never actually seen something this disturbing and graphic. But if I can just express a, a little gratitude for Hustler, and I'm being completely serious here, <clears throat> they, they, there is an accompanying sidebar to the, the story in which they lay out the reason why they did this to me, and, and it's very, it's under a hundred words, and in, in that paragraph they say, Essie Cup is lovely, she's smart, she's fine, but she happens to be a crazy conservative who is pro-life and wants to defund Planned Parenthood, and for that she deserves a phallus in her mouth. That is essentially what they're saying, and I have mm -hmm. to commend that as being incredibly honest. 
And, and there are people in the media who perform this kind of misogyny on women like me who cannot be that honest, who cannot come out and say, I disagree with you politically, therefore I feel like you deserve this kind of treatment. They will not say that. The National Organization for Women now will not come out and say, liberal women deserve more respect than conservative women, and we are not going to defend conservative women. They're not going to admit to that, but let me tell you that is exactly how they feel. So I frankly, I, I wish that the media entities that perform this kind of misogyny would just come out and do what Hustler did. Instead of beating around the bush and pretending to be fair, pretending to be above that, they're not above that. This is exactly what they do every single time. So may I translate? I think what I'm hearing you say, correct me if I'm wrong, Hustler magazine has higher standards than the media and the National Organization of Women. <clears throat> no, that's exactly right. They are more honest, more straightforward. They have uncomplicated this belief system, which, which exists on the left and the right, let me be clear, but they have uncomplicated this belief system that my political views, my being pro-life, um, my political views make this kind of behavior okay. It justifies it, and I essentially deserve it. That is honesty on this issue that I have never seen before. You know the picture of me, um, Essie, um, where I'm crying? Yes. You've seen that picture a million times. Which that one? <laughs> <laughs> okay. <I'll... laughs> um, the uh, the picture taken uh, by the photographer where where she put Vicks Vapor Rub underneath my eyes. Yeah. Um, and she did it because she was doing a photo shoot for GQ, and um, she lied to me. And she said, we're doing a, a photo shoot of the, because we were doing a stage tour, and she said, we're doing the two masks, the laughing and the crying. <clears throat> and she said, it's going to be a double, a double page, one, and I said, no, you're not going to do that. <laughs> and she said, yes, we are. And, I, and she said, I, and I promise you it'll look great. And I said... Um, she said, "Can you make yourself cry?" And I said, "Of course I can't do that. If I could do that, do you think I'd be? You think I'd be doing this for a living? I'd be the right. greatest actor of all time." Mm -hmm. And um, she said, "Well, will you just shoot it?" And I said, "Listen, you're an artist, so I'm going to trust you and your your artistic credibility. Yeah. Um, uh, that you're going to be a a, a woman of your word, mm -hmm. and you won't use this. Um, and I'll." I'll go out with you. I'll I'll go and I'll go down this road with you, mm -hmm. but only under these circumstances. Absolutely. She was absolutely lying to me. She's on yeah. videotape saying all these things to me. She's on videotape lying right to my face. And now that picture is out. And they always say that I put the Vicks vapor rub and that and that I did that myself, and that I that's the way I you know that's the way I manufacture all these feelings. And that picture has been used on me and against me now for two years and it's never going to go away never and it's a total assault on your character and oh, yeah, it is absolutely and here so, this yeah. picture this picture will be out uh, uh, on you yeah. and it will be forever in space forever in the ether yeah i mean i got emails last night when i when i was sent this photo from, from friends saying, you know, I can't believe that someone someday will be able to Google this, this photo Your of you. Your Absolutely. children Absolutely. I mean, imagine my, my phone call last night with my parents. Mom, Dad, I, I'm in Hustler. I mean, it's, it's, it's disturbing and sad, but I really, you know, the, 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 the nonpartisan in me wants to sort of take myself out of it. And again, really sort of commend Hustler for being dishonest about an issue that a lot of people are not this honest about. And this kind of misogyny happens all the time to lots of women in my position. And uh, it really goes, it, it goes completely unchecked. There is no outrage, especially when it's directed toward a conservative. I'm, I'm not expecting a, a call from President Obama. I worked at, <laughs> I worked at the, uh, I worked at CNN, by the way, yeah, wait by the phone for that phone call. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, I worked at CNN, and I can guarantee you that they're, if this story comes on their radar today and they would see this story, they will all laugh. They'll all look at the picture right. and, the, and women will laugh <laughs> and say, she deserves it. 
I think, is it possible though, that the president will call you because he has your number since when Keith Olbermann said you should be aborted? I'm sure he called you then, right? Exactly. Mm. Exactly. I'm on speed dial now with him, but <laughs> I, I think, Glenn. I mean, you make a you make a really good point. I, I'm not convinced that whoever decided to do this at Hustler was not a woman, because frankly, some of the worst misogyny that you see toward conservative women. Uh, is, women. is enacted yeah. by women. When Sandra Bernhardt, that comedian, came and said that Sarah Palin should be raped by a gang of brothers in New York City, that was but one example of women coming out against Sarah Palin in really vile, despicable ways. So I think, I think you're right to, to point out that this is not just a men-on-women on crime. The, the woman-on-woman crime here is, I think, far more prevalent and far more dangerous. All right. Well, uh, would you, um, um, first of all, um, Essie, I'm sorry this happened to you. And, uh, <laughs> I'm sorry I, it happened to us. <laughs> I, 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 I'm gonna, my next phone call is going to be to Scott Baker uh, at The Blaze and, um, and also the managing editor of uh, Real News at GBTV. And I want them to get the National Organization of Women and all of these other lefty organizations and, and anybody else who's talking about the war on women to go on record on this and demand that justice be served on this one. I'd also like to hear from any attorney that would like to take this case. Is there a case here? Any attorney that would like to take this case? I mean, this is a woman who eventually will have children and their, her children will see that picture of their mother. It will not come with a disclaimer. We live in a, in a world now that is all about photos. You don't know the difference between reality and fiction anymore. And here's a picture that will go out on the internet and forever be the one when you Google her, it will forever pop up. Is this, is this wrong, Democrats? Is this wrong? And I don't put you in the category of, uh, of uh, you know, hustler. But where's the line? Where's the line? Democrats have, have set out they didn't say anything. It was Republicans when, when uh, uh, you know, David Letterman said something. It was conservatives that stood up to David Letterman and CBS. Nobody really said anything when they took down Sarah Palin. Or, or, or is anybody saying anything today about the bashing? You want to talk about a war on women? The bashing of a pinata of a woman by the labor unions? You have Occupy Wall Street that is, they're raping women. They're raping women. And do you hear the media saying anything about it except they're mainly peaceful? Mainly peaceful, I don't know about you, but I don't, I don't t talk about my family. If there's a rapist in my family, I don't say, well, we're mainly peaceful. I stop the rapes. And now I see. Does it matter anymore? I would just say again, that if I had a daughter, she could look like Essie Cup. Does the left even care? Essie, we'll try to get some organizations on record. Thank you very much. And sorry Thanks, this is happening to you. All right. Thanks, Bob.